Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Katali Miron and today we will build this animation using React Native and React Native Pose. In order to achieve that animation, first we have to create a grid. So I have here an example of a generative art pseudo maze and more it's a grid system and for each grid item we will uh, create a different diagonal which can start from left top to right bottom or from left bottom to right top. We will use Expo for building the React Native project. If you don't know what Expo is, it's a free and open source toolchain for building React Native applications, uh, both iOS and Android. It offers you a bunch of things. Uh, out of the box such as over the air uh, updates and it's easy to build and distribute the application to the app stores it also has a great documentation and i really recommend you to check it out i'll just share the link in the description for animations we will use pose by pop motion which is a tiny yet powerful library for animations in react native it also support Re it supports React and Vue. You can achieve simple animations or uh, quite complex ones and you don't have to worry uh, about the interpolations and when to start or uh, finish the animation. So first let's let's jump to the terminal and uh, we need to you need to have installed Expo CLI globally. If you don't have you can type npm install dash g Expo CLI. Once you uh, you have it installed globally, you'll have access to the Expo uh, binary and you can init the project using Expo init and then the name of the project. So I'll just name mine React Native Maze. It will ask you if you want to start from blank or with React navigation. But since this is a simple uh, animation tutorial, we'll go with blank. And it will ask the next thing if you want to go with yarn. If you have, uh, if you don't have yarn uh, installed globally, it will fall back to npm. So let's wait for this to finish. Okay, cool. Now. Uh, Let's uh, cd into the created folder and type uh, yarn start. This will start the metro, metro bundler process and you'll have a really nice uh, UI here where you can run the application uh, on Android iOS or you can send it to your uh, device. I'll just use iOS for now and while this is opening the uh, the project I'll create a new window here and open up the project in VS Code. So the first thing we said that we will need a React Native Pose for animation, so let's add that to, to our project by typing yarn add React Native Pose. This will add you add the dependency to, to our package JSON. Okay, so everything has finished installing and processing the bundle. So let's jump to VS Code and uh, start uh, importing the React Native uh, Pose, so Posed from React Native Pose. And I'll just uh, get rid of the sidebar here because we don't need it for now. And the first thing, I will just wanted to show you how Pose work in general and how we are going to use it for our grid. I will start by creating uh, the future grid item and I'll name it grid item is equal to opposed view and uh, this method accept the config. So in our case we'll have a right diagonal with uh, some styles and a left diagonal with some styles. So when you'd like to transition from right to left uh, this grid item component will accept a pose property and you can pass it 
uh, uh, different uh, key even uh, either right or left so for right we will have a, a rotate of uh, 45 degrees and for left we'll have rotation of minus 45 degrees and to actually uh, create this uh, to render this item we'll need uh, this grid item and we can pass a pose and we will hard code the right for now uh, we can also pass a different style so from styles grid item um, and add here a grid item and we will have uh, let's say a background color of gold and a border with one and border color is going to be 333 so we and also pass a width and the height so you you can see out of the box that this is rotated 45 degrees and we can create uh, an animation and we can uh, start by storing the position in the state so position is default right and when component did mount we will start uh, by adding uh, an interval so on uh, let's store here the animation interval timer and assign to this animation interval a set interval and let's set state with position if the current position is right we will animate to the left otherwise it's right and we will do it on every two seconds and don't forget to remove this timer so clear interval by this animation interval and set it to null and add this this state position to our uh, grid item so now on every two seconds it will animate uh, either left or either right now for for this uh, this on, on this grid item we will add the we will create the diagonal so we'll have a, a view inside of it which will represent the actual uh, diagonal, the, uh, the line and we'll pass a style so it's going to be styles.gridItemDiagonal so this grid item diagonal will have a width of three let's say and the height is going to be uh, math square square root of two multiplied by 200 this is because it's the diagonal of of the square and we need to, to calculate the height uh, differently so because we uh, have some constants here we can define the size of the square which equals to 200 and we can also define the line width uh, it's 3 in our case so is uh, size and line width well, this will, uh, and we also need to define a background color let's say again 333 and align items to the center and justify content center this will move the the line to the center of the view 
so as you can see now we have uh, a grid item ready to be populated uh, in in a grid so now that we've learned uh, how to use pose and how to animate uh, the rotation of, of a grid item let's jump in and create the the grid itself uh, there are two different ways of creating the grid one is using a single array and you can uh, you have to calculate the um, the number of of grid items based on the size and the ratio of the screen or the other one is uh, to create a 2d uh, uh, matrix and uh, represent the columns the number of columns and number of rows there I will choose the uh, first version on, of creating just one single array and I will need to import the dimensions from React Native to get the, the width and height uh, of the screen. Now that uh, we have the width and height of the screen, so the dimensions of it, we can calculate the number of items uh, inside the array so I will start by uh, getting the ratio of the screen which is height divided by the width and we'll also get uh, the items uh, per row which is six for now let's say and we will get the size the new size of the uh, grid item based on the width so it's going to be width divided by the items per row so we'll get rid of this uh, constant here because we don't need it anymore and we will also create the number of rows the rows which is uh, a math round by the ratio multiplied with the height divided by the size so what what this does is we'll try to create how many rows are fitting the screen based on this size okay so now that we have the rows number we can calculate the total items so total items is going to be the items per row multiplied with the number of rows because we now have the number of, of items we can uh, go and create the, the array so we'll create here a method called construct grid and this will create uh, the grid items and we'll have an array of uh, total items and we'll get the keys and we will map over it and we'll have the key here or the index and we will re return a couple of things so let's wrap this up into a return statement and we will return the the key which is index in our case and we are also going to return a position and the position is uh, either left or right so we need to create a random function that will return left or right so get random position let's create random position now and uh, we'll get back to the construct grid so random position is going to return based on an array which is positions positions it's uh, an array of left of or right which are the possibilities and we'll return uh, the array and math floor by math random multiply with the array length so if positions and here we don't need to uh, assign this to to a variable instead of uh, setting the position to the state uh, on every two seconds we will uh, set the items 
by uh, calling the construct grid here and we also get rid of the initial state which is going now to be uh, this construct the grid and instead of uh, rendering the grid item here we will create a new component and pass uh, the items as a prop and we call the component a grid and let's create the grid here the grid is going to um, receive items and is going to return items map and this map is going to have as an argument the key and the position and return the grid item that we've created but instead of uh, setting the pose uh, by this, set, this state position we'll have the position and also apply a key now hit refresh and we'll see this construct grid is not available this is because we need a constructor here and we'll call super and this state it's equal to the grid can't find variable in the now as you can see we have a grid but the alignment is uh, not properly done now let's move to to the styles a little and we have to get rid of the the center alignment so everything will start from the flex start and apply a different background color and the flex direction is going to be row and we want to wrap with flex wrap the items and let's get rid of the border color and the background for each item as you can see by far that this is the expected behavior for for this uh, particular grid because we've calculated the number of items per row everything fits perfectly so let's try now to change the number of items per row and the grid will look uh, super nice one thing b before wrapping up this tutorial is to get rid of the status bar here so first remove the the text because we're not using it and uh, when the component will mount uh, let's apply status bar set hidden to true and hit refresh again that's that's looking way better thanks for watching i hope that you've enjoyed it and you've learned something uh, please hit like and subscribe if you want to be notified when i'll post a new video also don't hesitate to leave a comment and please let me know what can i do uh, better and how can i improve the tutorial flow thank you for watching see you in the next lesson